Yo, here we go again. Uh, first off, I'd like to thank all the people, new people that have subscribed and been liking my videos. Um, I'm just making these videos for fun in my free time. I've been making videos over the year, but I haven't been like creating content. It's more like a video game journal, the channels, the uh, videos on my channel. Anyway, um, quick tutorial on how to use a katana. I think it's the most um, straightforward weapon if you're a player coming from Monster Hunter. As all the other weapons kind of have, I guess Maul is, is, you know, I would think katana and Maul. Are, real, are similar weapons as to what you might be used to in Monster Hunter. Uh, but the other weapons, you know, are a bit different. Um, anyway. Uh, katana. Really cool. Uh, one of my favorite weapons. I mean, I really... I, would, I could easily just, like, just never put this weapon down and just keep using it. But the new weapons, like the Claw Blade and the Staff, are just so interesting and just so fresh compared to anything that's in Monster Hunter. Anyway, uh, the first thing you might notice coming from Monster Hunter is that you're, you can actually angle attacks. So you can hold a direction, any direction, and move and attack in that direction, which is one of the main reasons I think that people think Monster Hunter is, quote, uh, clunky is because they're not used to animations being so deliberate. But in this, it's a lot more forgiving. So yeah, you can see you could light. Uh, I'm going to refer to as the attacks as light, which is square. Heavy is triangle and weapon attack, which is R2. Um, the combos are very simple. So your lights, again, can be angled. And your heavy is more like a bit of a mobility. You can angle. Um, it has three main hits. Your triangle heavy has three main hits. And you can, again, you can angle them. I mean, it's really forgiving. But what's cool about this is on the third combo... You can actually go into a string of like spam attacks. Uh, so let's see what that looks like. And this is really good. So you just keep pressing triangle and this is great for building meter and does solid damage. So the whole mechanic of the uh, katana is to build up your meter and then turn it into a chain blade. So the way that you do this, as you can see on the right side of the screen, is you unbound your weapon so you either do that by pressing holding down r2 your weapon action button and and square or triangle so light or heavy so let's take a look at that so once your weapon is unbound your combos basically stay the same but they have more reach and do a, and do a bit more damage um it just looks so awesome. Like, I love uh, Chain Blade. As you can see, your meter will drain as it's out. If you want to cancel this, you could press R2 and circle, and you will cancel it. But you can't actually go back into the unbound mode until your meter is full. Um, again, back to weapon action. Uh, your weapon action will be different depending what combo, which, whether you start your combo with light, square, or heavy triangle. So, for example, if you just go square and then R2, you'll do this crazy... I mean, this is this is one of my, like, go-to... Like, it's just so fun and satisfying doing this, especially when you're un in unbound mode. Like, it does so much part damage and, like, pretty good DPS overall. But, yeah, you, you could literally, you know, go, do your five-hit combo. Two, three, four, five, and then R2, and boom, that's going to be a lot of hits. And your your weapon action after triangle is going to be kind of like it's like literally the same animation as AI slash from Longsword, but that's a really good like um, like distancer. Like say you're in between, like you can like read. Say you have a read on the monster and you know it's going to do like a crazy attack. You can go triangle R two and boom, you're out. You're out of there. Um, and to be to know the only combo that to if you want to extend your combo after this you need to press triangle and again that's like the gap closer and then you can go into this yep and then finally if you just press r to your weapon action by itself you do like this lunging stab i don't think it's that good i mean it does okay damage and maybe as the gap closer it's okay yeah and but, but as uh, and unbound as you can see the animations are a little bit longer 
do more damage. Uh, but the, the combos are exactly the same. Yeah, and that's basically it. Right? Uh, next video, um, I'll probably be doing a staff tutorial. A lot of people are saying it's complicated. It's really not. Uh, it's really cool. It switches between five different weapons. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Like and subscribe for more videos. Uh, definitely be doing more Wild Hearts videos. Might be doing some Hogwarts Legacy videos. Anyway, catch you next time.